The iPhone 15 Ultra has some epic specs that really make it stand out from the rest of this year's iPhones, and I'll be sharing the details right after this message from today's sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by Terabox. Terabox is the best free cloud storage provider that you can trust. As you might have guessed by the name, they offer one terabyte of cloud storage for free. They provide encrypted sharing so you can comfortably share all of your media, as well as backups, real-time sync, and fast uploads. We have support for online browsing, including video playback. And for those of you using it on your phone, we even have support for Face ID. They also provide a personal vault. And this is basically your private password protected safe box within your account. And you can use this to keep important documents safe from unauthorized access. Now I'm terrible for running out of space on my cloud storage accounts. And with a huge one terabyte of storage, I no longer have to worry. Now, of course, I've placed the link to Terabox down in the description below. So go ahead and check it out now. So first story of the day, before we get into the iPhone 15, we've got news on the new foldable. We previously had news from reliable analyst Ming Chi Kuo that we'd be seeing a foldable iPhone or iPad in 2024, but according to both Mark Gurman and Ross Young, that's not going to be the case and we won't be seeing any foldables from Apple until 2025. Next up, we've got leaked internal documents for the new iPhone 15 series, and these confirm the presence of Wi-Fi 6E. Now, Wi-Fi 6E provides faster speeds along with less latency, and although it's been included in other Apple products, they haven't used it on an iPhone until now. Unfortunately, additional documents show that this is going to be for the iPhone 15 Pro and the iPhone 15 Ultra only, and the non-Pro models will not be getting Wi-Fi 6E. The additional documents were discovered by leaker Unknowns21, and they also confirm that the iPhone 15 Pro and the Ultra are going to use the new 3 nanometer A17 chips, while the non-Pros are going to use the A16, but of course, this was always likely, as it's exactly what they did with last year's models. Now next up, we've got more confirmation that the iPhone 15 is going to be the first to feature a periscope camera and it's going to be getting an upgrade to 6x optical zoom. The news comes from reliable analyst Ming Chi Kuo on Twitter and he confirms that the iPhone 15 Ultra is going to get a periscope camera, but unfortunately the iPhone 15 Pro won't. It seems that Apple really want to give the Ultra some unique new features and the Pro model won't be getting a periscope camera until next year's iPhone 16. Next up, we've got news from Shrimp Apple Pro that confirms the new designs of the iPhone 15 Pro models, and I have to say, they look great. He says that all iPhone 15 series are going to have the same display sizes as last year's models, and he also says that the Pros are going to have thinner bezels with curved edges, and he also confirms that the displays are still going to be flat. Now, he then went on to elaborate, and he says that basically it's going to be a similar design to the Apple Watch 8, where the display is flat, but then the curve starts at the bezel. Shrimp Apple Pro has proved himself to be very credible over the past year, with so many leakers now advising us of this new design, then it seems very likely to be true. Essentially, the iPhone 15 Pro models are going to look exactly like these concept renders here from incredible artist Technizo Concept. It's reported that the iPhone 15 series is going to be entering the engineering validation stage next month in March, so while things can still change, it's becoming a lot less likely. Now, it's the same as we had last year. The leaks tend to be a lot more accurate at this point, and overall, the iPhone 15 is looking like a great improvement. We've got a new design with curved bezels and a titanium frame. We're finally getting a USB Type-C port instead of Lightning, and we're also getting an antenna upgrade to the Wi-Fi 6C. We're also getting an increase to 8 gigabytes of RAM for the Pro models, and finally, some impressive optical zoom on the cameras. The physical buttons are also being removed in favor of solid state buttons and additional taptic engines. This is going to be an interesting approach. So, overall, I think it's definitely going to be one to watch out for. Now, of course, as anything more comes up, I'll be sharing it straight away. So, make sure you hit subscribe and follow so you don't miss a thing in the future.